mahilig Ano man ang iyong ibig Kahit saan ka mang panig Ikaw sa Pilipinas Pagkain man o pagyaman Biyahin man kung saan saan Kahit na sino pa ang iyong angkan Ikaw sa Pilipinas Ikaw sa Pilipinas Halina at ibutin ang ating mundo What's up Pilipinas? Amin ibibigay ang inyong gusto What's up Pilipinas? Ang show na ito'y para lang sa inyo What's up Pilipinas? Tutok na sa so What's up Pilipinas? Ibutin ang mundo, kainin ang gusto Alamin ng tamang daan kung paano ang umaseso Kasama ang buong troma ng What's up Pilipinas Amin ibibigay sa madla at ipamadanas Ang saya ng What's up Pilipinas Tutok na sa What's up Pilipinas Ang saya dito sa Pilipinas Ihahatid sa inyo ng What's up Pilipinas How's your, how did you arrive and how's your experience being in the Philippines seeing the, the bikers, the biking community for the first time in the Philippines? Talk about it. Uh, 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 one, two, one, two. Okay. Yeah. No, but yeah, we can definitely check that. Uh, the, the bike scene here in the Philippines is huge. Uh, it's a huge way to get around since there's a lot of traffic. So it can be like a road bike or BMX, we've seen so many bike riders yesterday and we rode with them so it was just really cool to, to share a riding session with them and finally meet them live. So yeah, bike, bike is big in the Philippines, I can tell. Bromoti, right? Bromoti? You're Bromoti. You yes, are Bromoti. Yes, Bromoti. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. This is uh, Spade. No, no, we have I'm Matthias. I'm fake. Yes, okay. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, to, to that question, I think the Philippines, they, I can see they really love the bike, uh, the bicycle world, but I think they need to, the culture of bicycles needs to be, need, need to become stronger because, I mean, we went in the traffic and it's crazy. So I think the people, when they drive, they should be aware of, of bikes more and should, should think that we also a vehicle when we're on the streets and maybe should consider more to, to respect the bikers a bit more. Have, uh, have you met any professional bikers yet? Have you had seen them yet? From the Philippines? Yes. Uh, yeah, we met the local scene yesterday, the local BMX scene. We, made a, we have a jam together. Yeah, we, uh, there is this kid, uh, Renz Viaje. Renz Viaje, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that travel uh, all over Asia to, to do contests and he's doing really good and we really hope he's going to be able to travel internationally and uh, like contest in the US and Europe really soon. Okay, thank you. Anyone else have any questions for our bikers? Thank you. Oh, you're hey, welcome. Thank you, bro. Yeah, Please welcome. raise your hand and... Yeah. Hello. Hello, where are you from and what's uh, your name? My name is Chase and I write for Men's Health. So this is a question for, for all of you guys. Um, uh, cycling is really accepted uh, over there in Europe, like, you know, the roads are filled with cyclists, people know that there are bikes around, but here in the Philippines, uh, we don't have that same sharing the road mentality, so um, what, what do you think would be the roadblock that we, we could overcome so that we can all begin to accept cycling as a, a normal thing here in the Philippines? Well, I think, you know, not everyone in Europe is is uh, bike friendly. Right. Right. So Spain is not bike friendly at all. <clears throat> but where I live now, I live in Luxembourg, Belgium, and, and Holland. They is a bike friendly country. So, and I think the secret is to have bike roads everywhere. This is how the bike uh, is going to be more accepted in the Philippines. So I tell the government to be, build more bike roads. Uh, yeah, like <clears throat> in, in today, today's world with like the the problem of pollution and everything, bike is gonna is gonna be bigger and bigger anyway. So big cities gonna have to adapt. And uh, Paris nowadays is doing uh, big changes to have better like uh, road bike lane and uh, and try to get inspired from the country in the northern Europe, like uh, uh, Denmark, where bike is big, where like uh, Holland, where bike is big. And I think every big city should be inspired by that. And because bike 
is going to be the next big thing when uh, we're going to run out of uh, fuel, out of resources. The only way to get around is going to be bikes, so people are going to ride bikes for sure. Yeah. Just we need to adapt. You, you need a bike road to feel safe to yeah. Yeah. If you want to go to your work or whatever. Right? Yeah. <laughs> As you know, Italy is the most famous and most popular country for the bicycle. We have a lot of many famous brands like Pinarello, Colnago, De Rosa. And to be honest, uh, also Italy is not bike friendly. So I think that, <laughs> yeah, uh, as, uh, as somebody of you knows, uh, Vittorio was attacked uh, just uh, one month ago, two weeks ago, by some people on the road training on, on, the, on the bike, yeah. so uh, I think that uh, as in every country all over the world, uh, also in Philippines they can improve the bike friendly style, so as, uh, as Vicky said, uh, I think that um, the most important thing is, is to have just uh, uh, a line, just a space for the bike, because uh, it's, it's, a it's a dream, <laughs> yeah I know, but in Italy <laughs> it's a dream. In Italy, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> no, I think that you can do a good uh, job uh, also uh, with some events like this uh, to improve the people using the bike and to be more uh, bike friendly, as you say. Oh, yeah, cool. Thanks, yeah, makes sense. So, cooperation basically between everybody. Yeah, or, or you get a ticket, a big fine, between <laughs> the biker, and then, 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 then people are going to respect. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. much. Does anyone else have a question? Yes, hello again here. Yeah. Uh, we don't hear much from the BMX bikers right here. They kind of keep a low profile. Uh, wow. Is there anything that you can tell the, that you can, that can inspire the, the, the BMX bikers, the, all the bikers here, that how they would uh, rise and, uh, be, uh, in, uh, and uh, show their talent? Well, <clears throat> I always tell my story as an example. I, I just started riding when I was 14 and basically my dream was to get a BMX freestyle bike and, and be part of something like a lifestyle, be part of a, of a movement and that's what, what BMX is for me. So I would, my, my, what I recommend to the riders is to have fun riding bikes and don't think about becoming pro or, or becoming famous because this is something that comes and maybe doesn't come but the main thing is to have fun while you ride BMX Exactly, I think a lot of kids uh, that ride BMX these days that start to ride bike especially with the uh, internet being so big at the moment with YouTube and they see all these pro riders with like branding everywhere and doing this crazy trick, they only think about being pro and doing the craziest trick but I think it's all about being with your friend and riding and having fun and uh, not thinking about being sponsored like the first two years of riding if the opportunity comes it's gonna come but sometimes it never comes and that's not what matters what matters is just like be together and have fun on your BMX bike so that would be my advice as well thank you Hi. thank you yes gentlemen uh, what's your name and where are you from? Good morning, I'm Enrico from Men's Health Magazine as well. Um, and this is a question for the three riders. It's a bit of a technical question, but we're curious to know. Uh, can you explain and maybe follow four or five easy steps? How do you do a wheelie? <laughs> Anyone can take the question. Pay. Sorry. I'm a teacher. Pay, please. Ah, okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. No, you have pay pal? Well, uh, how do you do make a wheelie? Well, we have different ways to make wheelies. We have pegs, is this thing we have on the wheels, you uh -huh. can see, where we put, the, where we put the foot. So our way to the wheelie is different than this way to the wheelie, which is on the pedals. I see. So, so maybe uh, from, from first the BMX, how to do it, and then on the road bike, how? Okay. Uh, uh, like, uh, do it uh, step one, step two, yeah! So, like, this is called the peg wheelie, so you put the feet on the peg, like, what, whatever feet you feel the most comfortable with. And uh, you're going to use the feet that's not on the peg to balance. So basically, it's going to show you now, look, the feet, the right feet is balancing, 
And yeah, basically, uh, you just have to go at the parking lot and practice. There is no secret. <laughs> Honestly, like, kids always ask us how to do this, how to do that. But the only way is to go in the street and ride your bike and try stuff. Yeah. Vittorio, your style. Yes, with the road bike, uh, it's very complicated because uh, the, the geometry of uh, the frame is not good for uh, riding, yes, for freestyle. Flat. Yes, it's possible one time yes, one time no. <laughs> okay, all right, thank you. Lucky. Oh, lucky. No, no, no luck. Practice. Practice many hours, yes. Many hours. I crash many, many free, many wheels, and the wheel bike trial is more simple. But with a road bike, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, th I think you need to put a small gear, no? Yeah. To, <laughs> I don't know if it's called a small gear. But yeah. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, we have time for two Thank more you. questions. Okay, um, Leo, also from Men's Health, uh, the website. Um, I know you guys practice a lot on your bikes, but do you do anything else? Um, I mean, cross training, surfing, going to the gym, any other sport? What, what, what is your cross training? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I do a lot of running personally because uh, I, uh, I think competition is a big uh, part of my lifestyle. And the uh, qualification run for a BMX uh, flag on competition is three minutes or plus last week, so it's a long time and you have to be super fit. So yeah, I try to run like four times a week and do some extra extra body body core strength. And uh, but basically BMX is a, a really complete sport for the body, so it like works on the on the leg and on the upper body. So. Yeah, it's just really complete, so I just run, do a little bit of cough strength and ride my bike five hours a day and that's what I do. Yeah, for me, I, I do a lot of stretching before and, and after riding, maybe like kind of like yoga moves. And uh, I think I, I'm so much into this meditation philosophy, so I, I use a lot of it to be, be inspired and, and to use it in the competitions and, and stuff like that. Running sometimes, I'm <laughs> lazy for that. But uh, I, yeah, I do maybe two, two times a week sometimes. Um, I wish to do more, but be lazy in Spanish. No? <laughs> uh, uh, I'm cooking. <laughs> I, I'm a chef. Yes, now it's 12 o'clock, my pasta is ready. And uh, stop. <laughs> because uh, I have on the back 23 years. Uh, uh, in a bicycle in this position <laughs> and now I want to I want to search new new sports for example uh, I love snowboard and uh, stretching and uh, stop Thank I, you. I personally like to go to, to the bar to party it's yes. one, it's the thing. Yes. Yes. <laughs> thank you thank you thank you thank you we have time for one last question Pasta, pasta, pasta. Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Joel Fernandez from Spring.ph, one well, of the Philippines. Uh, how, can you describe uh, the bike culture in your respective countries? And second question is, uh, as sort of ambassadors for biking, uh, what is the best way to promote it to a person who does not bike? Okay, well, uh, as I said, Spain is not very... Uh, bike friendly country so basically nowadays it's better when I started to ride we everybody thought we were delinquents because we ride BMX <laughs> and uh, nowadays it's better it's better seen one good thing about my my sport like BMX street in my country is very well seen like the police will never kick us out they kick out the skaters but they really respect flatland and street so we always have good weather, so in our country to ride BMX is, is a perfect place because it's, it's always sunny, you can ride anywhere, police is not going to tell you anything, so it's, it's, it's a great great place for BMX. Yeah, in, uh, in France, uh, the bike culture used to be like pretty bad, but now, uh, especially in Paris, we do a lot of uh, effort, like there is a big... Uh, bike uh, bike renting system called Velib. so basically anywhere you go you can rent bike uh, out of a machine in Paris and just bike everywhere which is really good 
and they made a lot of bike lane. The, the new government in France is really like uh, eco eco friendly, so they really try to make bike bigger. So yeah, and as Vicky said, BMX wise, uh, culture like BMX and skateboard used to be like really bad scene, and we used to be like delin delinquents or whatever to the people eyes, but. Nowadays, people think that's right what we do, and they, we get more exposure on TV or media, so they know what we are actually doing. And yeah, it's getting better and better every day, which is great. In Italy, the the first sport and the first religion is football, 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 and the bicycle. There are many brands, important brand of bicycle, but uh, all people only football. Okay. But uh, I'm lucky because um, in eight years I'm a special reporter. I'm a journalist in a best program TV show in Italy. That program is uh, the most popular program in uh, 25 years. Every night, nine million of share. Okay, I'm a spe um, I'm reporter and uh, with a bicycle. And for the people, it's important um, change style. Okay. The normal journalist speak and stop, and uh, me speak about uh, is, uh, is, speak um, about the problem of Italy with my bicycle. Uh, the problem of politics, the problem of uh, mafia, many problems. I'm the voice of uh, people, and this is important. The rules, because uh, in Italy there are many rules, but. Uh, uh, the people uh, don't use the rules, okay? And uh, <laughs> Italian people is famous. And uh, I'm in this moment. I'm uh, um, I'm a principal. Uh, Main image. Yes, Main image. for uh, for the children, for uh, for all people. Every night, nine million people watch me. No, it's important. Uh, Put the, in every country one person with a bicycle. Okay. For example, in uh, uh, Spain there are uh, um, there are uh, it, it, the most popular TV show in Spain. Uh, well, about stupid famous people that are famous for nothing. <laughs> because there is there is only GF, uh, uh, Big Brother, and uh, Famous Island. Okay. And uh, it's important to put one person from sport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there, there is a famous expression, no? They say when, when you see an old man on a bike, you think this is a better world, no? So I think, I think this is good, right? Yeah. And it happens a lot in, for example, in Japan. Everybody goes by bike. Old men, kids, so it's, it's good. It's good to see that it's... You feel the world is getting better when you see people on bikes. All right, cool. And coming back to my second question, how would you convince a non-biker to start biking? It's well, cheaper. It's, it's cheaper. <laughs> like, fuel, uh, fuel is getting more and more expensive, and taking your car is like so boring. You're just like sitting by yourself in traffic, and I hate driving my car. I just want to die when I drive my car. <laughs> so I just, I'm just so happy to pedal around my city, and I just, yeah, just. Everybody needs to understand that just like pedaling and adding some fresh air and just like jumping on curb, jumping like this is my favorite thing to do and I just want everyone to experience that and uh, I really hope more and more people are going to ride bike because it's the, the best thing in the world, bike riding. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even if it's riding Flatland or BMX, even just for me the fact to take my bike and just pedal and go for 20 minutes ride, it really, really cleans your mind. You really get, you know, fresh ideas, and you have a, a good feeling of freedom. So I would tell the people, don't be afraid and go and experience freedom, because that's what you get from riding bikes. Yeah, I agree with Vicky. Bike is freedom. You can do everything. You can uh, ride everywhere uh, without gas, without uh, money, with nothing. Just you and your bike. Yes, it's the first uh, sensation for uh, the children, okay, the, the, the first step is uh, riding with a bicycle, this is uh, forever. Some, some girls think it's sexy, so why not? And if you're a girl on a bike, then you have every man behind, right? 
exactly. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much, Matthias, Vicky, Vittorio, and Andrea.